Hey, this tutorial is on how to make a calendar in Corel Draw X3. Have you have you ever wondered how they do it? Uh, you know, when you go to a printing press and then they have this calendar, you can do that in Corel Draw. Like, for example, I want to make a customized calendar for for my family or for a friend. So we're gonna start with a letter size paper. Okay, this is eight and a half by eleven is a letter size paper and what I'm gonna do here I have this already I'll just delete that one okay and you can also put your photograph into that calendar so let's start the tutorials okay I'm gonna delete this first and I've got an eight and a half by eleven sheet here and I've got my picture I can resize that later uh, okay so what we're gonna do is we're going to go to tools okay and you click on visual basic Okay, we're gonna automate the calendar uh, calendar making in Corel Draw X3, and you click on play. So when you click on play, you're going to have this dialog box, and in in macros, okay, you click on calendar wizard. So when you click on that, okay, then you click on run. So what's gonna happen here? You're going to have this dialog box again, showing the calendar. Now it's really up to you what calendar you want. If you want it on January, February, or you can make it, you know, 2008 if you want. But let's go to 2007 and let's make it March. You can even make all, like all the calendars. And if you notice here, if you go here, then you can scroll to all the dates. I mean the months. Okay, so let's go to none and I click on March 2007. That's what I want. And then here in your page layout here, uh, this one uh, controls the margin of the page of the calendar. Since we're going to insert a picture here for your calendar, now we're going to uh, increase the size, uh, the uh, the spacing on top. So I go here. Okay. I'll just type in uh, value here five. Okay, so I say that's five, that's fine. And then we're going to adjust this one here, which is the header. Go to large header, and then in the height here, we adjust that so we'll decrease it because we want we don't want to make the March, uh, I mean the, the month too big. So if I'm okay with that, let's go back to page layout, or actually that's fine. And then here, let's say I don't want the Okay, so for example, you want to show the year, you click on show year here, okay, and then here it's highlight Sundays, and you can also change the font of the of the text, say for example, you want a different kind of font, uh, let's say this one, oops, let's just say that, okay, and click okay, and you notice this one changed already. Okay, let me click on large body here, you can also... I don't want the moon faces to be shown, so I just uncheck that one, okay, and then I'm okay. So now you're ready to generate the the calendar. So you just click on generate. You can play around with all these settings, but I'm just going to show you the basic one. So you click on generate. It says they're finished generating the calendar. And click OK, and then close. And then go back to your calendar. There you go. And then what you're going to do, just, you know, insert the picture that you want to insert. There. If you want to put the border, you click on an image, and you go to effects, create boundary. So when you click on uh, create boundary, it makes a boundary and makes an outline. And you can change that one. You can make it thicker. Uh, let's make it four point. I'll just make it say purple and then click OK. If I want to make it thicker, some more, I go to eight points. I think eight points is fine. There. Okay, so that's for the tutorial. Easy way to do calendar in Corel Draw X3. Okay, now let's make a different style of calendar. Okay, I'll just. Uh, Actually, we don't need to move that picture. I'm just going to delete that. Then let's go back to Tools again. We click on Run uh, Visual Basic, Play, and we go back to our this dialog box, and then we click on Calendar Wizard, 
and click on run uh, now we're gonna change the style of the of the calendar so what we're gonna do here uh, I know we changed this to five okay that's for the height of the I mean the margin on top and then we click on large header and then I think we made it smaller okay or you know what we'll just make it bigger and then in here in layout month large that's one month now you can also make one month large with two small calendars so this is the previous month and then this one is the next month so you can do it that way and then you can also increase the size of this if you want then you can also change it to say 12 small calendars here okay but since we're doing it in eight and a half by eleven, it's so difficult to see it. I mean, to to make it work because it's a small calendar. So we go to too small, and I think we're okay here. And then, if you want to include a year, just click on that one. But since it doesn't do it, it's better you can do it manually in Corel. Okay, so we go generate and click OK and close. There you go. So you got your month, the previous month, December, and February is the next month because we chose December. Now I forgot to remove the moons. You can always ungroup it and delete the moons. I don't really want the moons in there. When you're not stuck with this, uh, this format because you can always since it's a Corel draw file you can always edit it say for example January here you want to put 2000 no uh, 2007 so I'll just type in 2007 here and uh, put it here and like I said you're not stuck here you can always put a you know a background uh, say you want to put a background color on your the whole calendar you just double click here rectangular tool and it gives gives you an outline of the 8 of 11 then you can put a fill gradient fill you know if you want if you want to put a gradient fill so let's say I'm going to make it radial and I'll change it to a really pale yellow that there you go simple elegant and it's nice you can still customize say for example this uh, January you can change the font to a different style of font say uh, say I'll choose that one for January and make it larger uh, I can also color it you know there's unlimited unlimited ways to make it nice and yeah or you can even type in a name here uh, I'll choose Arial Black. You know, I'll just remove my snap mode here. You know, things like that. I'll make that white. You know, uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, so you can do anything here. Okay, let's say, for example, I put a transparency here, we'll make it uniform just to make it not too adjust that there there you go very nice calendar